Yeah. They're coming. They're coming. They're about a mile away. We'll sound the alarm. Just get everybody ready. Yeah, that's right, Norman. I'll do it right away. This is a story about a high school. It isn't much of a story, but this isn't much of a high school either. It's full of beer drinkers, dope teachers, smokers, hooky players, students, liars, and assholes. And those are just the teachers. The less said about Mr. the kids, Who the better. We're showing you the end of the story today. first. So as to inform those of you who will be leaving in the middle that life does have a happy ending. The years have gone, you're finished at last. You are our finest graduating class. And your experience here at Rebel High will keep you going until you die. Obstacles may come and obstacles will pass, but society will keep kicking you right in the ass. Norman, I've been waiting for you. There's our new principal. September 2nd. Okay, okay. Everywhere in America, the oh, same story vacation. begins. You're looking pretty good. I'm doing all right. A summer away from this place is like a tonic. Why, even in July, I almost felt normal. My blood pressure went down to 180 over 120. Well, you can't bitch about that. Norman, we got to make sure we don't graduate to being principal. we got to take care of that guy. Don't worry about it, Harv. Leave it to me. Uh, good morning. Uh, morning. Glad to see you again. Good to see you, too. Uh, Mr. Relic, I'd like you to meet our new principal, Mr. Edwin Swimper. Mr. Swimper, our vice principal, Norman Relic. Ah, uh, pleasure to meet you, Mr. Relish. Uh, that's Relic? <laughs> it's getting late. I'll assemble the staff. Why don't you show them around until we're ready? It's a good idea. Yeah. Heard a lot about you, Mr. Swimper. It's a pleasure to have you here at our school. Schlepper always meets with the faculty on the first day of the new year, organizing self-defense units, practice disarming bombs, and setting up hall patrols. All the usual stuff. As you know, our biggest peril is our hallway situation. We are tired of being attacked. We must take this issue into our own hands. Use everything at your disposal. When you see an empty locker, do not hesitate to hide in it. It may save your life. Let us demonstrate. I must say, it's always an emotional event taking on a new challenge, like turning a weed into a flower. But I don't understand. As vice principal, why don't they ask you to take over? Oh, they did. But when I heard you were coming, I deferred to your experience. It's a lot for me to learn. Ah, oh, well, yes, that's very kind of you. Dexter Gideon High had the worst attendance record in the nation until I took over. You see, I work with a plan. Well, that's exactly what we need. Why is the flag at half-mast? Uh, in honor of the dead. For those that soon will be. What? Must be a national disaster or something. Hmm? Yeah, first day of school. <laughs> Good Lord, what is that? Do I see crosses? Oh yeah, we're the only school with its own cemetery. Cemetery? Oh, well, who's buried here? Uh, teachers, the odd hall monitor, mostly principals. They zig when they should have zagged. Uh, nothing. Uh, just the students arriving. Boys and girls, pay up your attention, please. My associates and I would like to offer you at reduced prices. School supplies you may have neglected to pick up earlier. We've obtained these items from merchants in the neighborhood, thus passing on to you these heart-stopping prices. Psst, 
Who's the chick with the pink shoes? I don't know. Mmm, must be new. We also accept Visa, American Express, Master Charge, your mother's dentures, your firstborn child, right, anything you've got to sell, sell, anything you've got to trade. Yeah. We're here today to make some money! Give me this shit. Hey, pick that shit up, man. Give it to me. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know at Rebel High we have had certain problems in the past, but our new principal... What happened to the old principal? He, he retired, didn't he? What do you mean he retired? He was only 40. He didn't retire. They put him away. Well, he, uh, he, uh... Died? He, yeah, yeah. Uh, of natural causes. I remember. They blew him up. At any rate, our new principal is a man of strength and vision. I've had the opportunity to spend time with him, and I'm impressed with the fact that he is the man that is going to put Rebel High back on track. And I'm sure he'd appreciate all the help that you are capable of giving. Attention! Everybody, Principal Swimper. At ease, men. Swimper, Mr. Relic. First, let me say that I'm looking forward to walking with you and Rebel High into a brighter tomorrow. It sounds like a floor wax commercial. What? My prime concern is to improve the overall quality of this facility. We could burn it down. Good idea, but it's against board policy. I understand we have discipline problems here. Student gangs that consistently disrupt the curriculum. Nothing you can't handle, Ed. That's right. In my experience, a good administrator has more than enough resources to deal with a few delinquent youths. I take a psychological approach. Misbehavior oh. has its roots in rebellion. And what are students rebelling against? Being told what to do, what courses to take, all the rules that we, society, impose on them. So... Move the rules, no more rebellion, no more discipline problems. I've seen it work before, men. I'm going to turn Rebel High into an open school. Uh, the kids will make their own rules and decide which courses they're going to take. The kids already made the rules. Well, take away their hall passes and put the kids on their honor. What? You're going to put the kids on their honor? They don't have any honor. You'll see. Treat the students with respect. Trust their common sense. And they'll open to the whole idea of, 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 of education. Mr. 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 Swepper and Mr. Relic will, will, will set, set my plan in motion. Until then, if, if anybody wants me, I'll, I'll be in my office attending to, to administra administrative detail. You heard Principal Swepper? Rebel High is an open school. Registration begins in the gym this afternoon. It was a dumb plan right from the start. The kids signed up for all the easy classes and ignored the hard ones. Actually, I don't blame them. That algebra is a bitch. Hundreds of kids signed up for sex education, archery, and the history of comic books. And before you could say the Incredible Hulk, Rebel High became a comic book. Are you talking to me, Mr. Battaglia? That's Mr. Battaglia. Sir! Yes, sir, Mr. Battaglia, sir. You've been a bad boy, Melvin. I have? I thought I told you to stay in your locker. I... Yeah, yeah, well, you see, Mr. Battaglia, sir, I was on summer vacation, and... My, my family. You have to be disciplined, Melvin. No, please don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, I think I have the best course. What is your name? Uh, my name's Ned, and these are my... No browser, no browser. This is cash and carry only. You give me the cash, and I'll carry it away. Hey, Calvin, how much for these chips? Give me 50 
25 cents. Yeah, so how come it only says 25 cents on the bag? Come here, what are you, some kind of communist? This is America, home of the free enterprise system. It's called profit, pal. The man who takes the chances, the man who provides the services, he's got to get paid. You understand? What is it? I need some protection. Condoms, five for a buck. No, from Bruno. Later, man, later. So, uh, this is the chemistry line, huh? So the man can read. <laughs> Not only that, but I can write my own name. Chemistry happens to be one of my best subjects. Oh, really? Yeah, in fact, I'm a science genius. I can tell you exactly how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop. I'm sure you can. So, uh, are you a junior or a senior? I'm a junior. The last school I was in, the gangs kept it closed half the year. Oh, that's too bad. Look, all I know is I gotta get through this year to make it to college without any problems from a gang. I was thinking about going to college myself. <laughs> Majoring in what? Advanced pyrotechnics? You're really hot, babes. You know that? You're really hot. The archery class was a team teaching idea. The kids made bows and arrows in shop class. Then they learned how to make cure air poison for the tips of their arrows. I'll be making this motherfucker so sharp, it'll go right through the history teacher. You think you can make it go through the math teacher? Math teacher? Get real, man. That math teacher be thick. Let's go try it out. Karate Clash was another failure. The kids used each other's heads as targets and the school turned into a war zone. Okay, where's the bitch this time? What bitch are you talking about? It's the fire! Where's the fire? I didn't know we had any fire around here. Of course there's a fire here. There's always a fire here. All we have to do is find it. Come on, men. This way! We need him here as soon as you can find him. Well, look, look! Never mind, here he comes. Calvin's in there, and he's got his gang with him. You better move it before we're minus one principal. Oh, great. That's all we need. What are you doing here, Calvin? Did you break parole again? Hey, really? Like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I only missed a couple of classes. How many classes did you miss? All of them. Calvin, how come you've been going to the school for seven years and you're still in the 10th grade? I've been going here for seven years? How come I ain't graduated yet? You gotta go to classes before the teacher can pass you. I went to class. Oh, yeah. In the last seven years, there were 1,260 school days and you attended 39 of them. Noah floated around his goddamn ark for more days than that. How do you... It's up on the third floor, Mr. Swimper. I'll check it out. God damn it, this place is on fire 50% of the time. Every kid in this joint is a registered firebug. They'll burn this place to the ground one of these days. Just wait and see if they don't. you guys dare move? I'll be right back. We ain't going nowhere. Just wait and see if they don't. Hey! Who said fucking Calvin! I didn't start no fire, Mr. Swimper. Well, somebody did, and I intend to find out if it takes me to the end of the day. 
Mo, you were sitting right there. You must have seen the guy who started the fire. Me and Calvin seen the same thing, Mr. Belly. Nothing. Yeah, Mo's telling the truth. A likely story. He lies and you'd swear to it, Calvin. Yo, I saw who started that fire, but it was moving too fast, Mr. Belly. I didn't get a good look at him. But I'm sure it's one of them white dudes, man. I knew it. One of those goddamn white kids. Yo, man, I'll go get him for you. Give me that jacket. Hey, man, you're crazy. That's my good jacket you're using. Fight down. This is an emergency. Hey, you got it. It's an emergency. We're not going to worry about some dumb jacket. The whole school could burn down. Hey, that's mine. We got our daughter sports jacket. Shit, man, we can't worry about one dumb jacket when this whole damn school could burn down. Give me that jacket. Swimper, uh, it's 11 o'clock, sir. We were kind of wondering when you were going to get here. I think I've accomplished what I set out to do. Rebel High's an open school, wide open. I have other challenges that await me now, so good luck and goodbye. So much for putting power in the hands of the people. What did he say? It's going on to bigger challenges. Norman, we've got to find a new principal. And fast. Yeah. Edwin Schwimper was the 69th principal in two years, proving once again that in life, principles are hard to live with. They started looking for a new principal right away, but it wasn't easy finding someone who didn't know what kind of place Rebel High was. They searched high and low, but they couldn't find anybody dumb enough to take the job. You got a minute? What is the time is money. We need blonde, brunette, redhead. Uh, we just wanted to talk to you about the school. Hey, don't I know you? Aren't you the dude that works over at that school? Yeah. No way, man. I heard about the mess that's going on over there. I don't want nothing to do with it. No part of it. No way. But all we wanted... No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. But you're perfect for the job. You've got professional wrestling experience. No! We now bring you to the second part of our story. The rise and fall of Reggie Peckham. Ah, there you are. Oh, it's ready. They got the poor sap in the office. He doesn't suspect a thing. We'll have him signed to that contract before he knows what hit him. Where'd you find this guy? He's been hiding under a rock for the past 10 years? Close. He used to be a principal of a high school in Africa. Africa? Yeah. He actually expects our school to be as good as the ones in Africa. You gotta be kidding. It's true. I heard him say it with my own ears. This guy is really out of touch. That's what we're counting on. Time to meet the candidate. This is the last principal I'm sending you. You're on your own from now on. Well then, Peckham, I feel it only fair to warn you that we've considered many other applicants for the position of principal of Rebel High. You can say that again. Of course, we must find the most qualified person for the job. To provide leadership to a school with over 2,000 students who represent the finest this country's future leaders. The members of this panel will want to ask you certain penetrating questions designed to explore your professional qualifications for this important position. Uh, Mr. Peckham, I understand that you are a principal of a high school in Africa? Yes, that is correct. I was the principal of the Norman Abimbo High School in Botswana for seven years, during which time I... Well, I think that does it then, Mr. Peckham. Welcome aboard. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welcome aboard. What, what happened to all the penetrating questions? 
Relax, Peckham. The minute I saw you, I knew you were a man for the job. Why do I get the feeling this point is this? How'd it go? The fool approved of him on the spot. Well, this is their last chance. If this new principal can't turn Rebel High around, then it's goodbye, Rebel High. And the low parking lot. Just make sure we can tear down a school as soon as the inspection's over. The parking season's coming up. <laughs> Miss Green, start taking bulldozing lessons. Ready when you are, sir. <laughs> Rebel High, named after John Rebel, famous Civil War hero. It's very interesting. Yeah. What is that? Uh, nothing, just a laboratory experiment. Oh, okay. Enough already, Mom. you later. Don't move. I'll be right back. Peckham spent the next few days learning the real truth about American education in the big city. He learned to be on the alert at all times, never to give a sucker an even break, and to always keep his back to the wall. I am not going to ask you again, young man. Where did you get this dynamite? I told you they was flares, man. I'm so glad you're right, man. Yes, it's a good thing for you, young man. This is not real dynamite. It's a good thing for you too, Mr. Packer. You may have a point there, Leroy. All right, you guys, get out of here. And let Mr. Peckham get settled in. What he really learned, however, was the true value of a good bottle of Pepto-Bismol. Rollick took him on a this grand tour of the now? place. This he found out about the attendance this? problem when they dropped in on some classes. The verb of the sentence is disgraceful. Ladies and gentlemen, the students. The adverb. I don't know, Rollick. I think we have a very serious attendance problem. Nothing you can't handle, Mr. Peckham. What is this? It's a wrestling team. They're just practicing. Oh, okay. The poor sap went crazy for the next two weeks. He organized meetings, had kids arrested, raided student hangouts, and made a general nuisance of himself. He found so many things wrong, he used up a whole notebook before he got back to the office. What is this? It's the library. The library? There are hardly any books. Uh, the students borrowed them all. It looks more like they're reading them. There's somebody with a book. Oh, that's Alan Kretschmer. He's our librarian. Mr. Kretschmer, are you in charge here? Alan. Alan. Hi, Norman. How you doing? Alan, I'd like you to meet our new principal, Mr. Peckham. Are you in charge here? Yeah, but... Why aren't these students studying? Where are their books? Nobody said anything about books, Norman. Since when are they supposed to bring books here? This is a library, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm only supposed to stop them from doing more damage than necessary. I don't actually remember seeing anyone study here before. Someone might have done some while I wasn't looking. Really, make a note. I'll turn this place back into a library if it's the last thing I ever do. Yes, sir. In the end, he hadn't changed anything, except the acid content of his stomach. <laughs> Class, 
I'd like you to meet our new principal, Mr. Packham. I wanted to check it out. We got a new sub. <laughs> Girls, get down. You, drop that headlock. Slick, sit up, turn it down. You hear that, Leroy man? She called you Slick. To the young man on the windowsill, do you realize if you fall out of there, I'll have to file a report? Now your assignments are on the board. Get busy with it while I check the attendance. Yeah, how the hell am I supposed to make a living with all this nonsense going on? Excuse me, Mr. World Wrestling Federation champ. I said drop the headlock. Hey, you don't step on my foot. Excuse me. I hate to interrupt your concert. I want you to watch my lips and open your ears. Turn the goddamn thing down! Hey, get off my head, shithead! Hey, you get off of my foot and I'll get off of your head, man! Man, get your ugly ass in the back! <laughs> That's my little motherfucker. I need a pen. Yo, man, here's a pen. Who got some paper, man? Hey, how much for that weed, man? Nah, man, not now. I not need now. It now. Oh. God damn! What's wrong, man? Man, they wrote this shit in some foreign language. Man, you got your book upside down, asshole. What town does the bell ring? Teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you can. Teacher, can we go to the bathroom? No. Aw, oh, man, eat me, man. You mop it up. Class, Mr. Peckham would like to say a few words to you. All right, Mr. Peckham, go! Oh, yeah. Well, first, let me say, as your new principal, I intend to respond to your needs. Yo, Mr. Pecker! What is it? I need some pussy. <laughs> Everybody has to follow the rules. Even teachers. Even teachers? Well, yeah. We're just as trapped as Pontius Pilate was when he refused to do anything about helping Christ. Who's he? Pontius Pilate? No, nah, man. It's Christ, dude. Jesus was... He was a third baseman for the San Diego Padre in 69, man. Come on now, you guys. You know all about Jesus Christ for Christ's sake. You went to Sunday school when you were little, didn't you? And you must have learned something about Jesus. Yeah, he'd be the dude who has a mama who'd be a virgin. So what? Ain't that right, Mr. Relic? That's right. His mother was a virgin. Ain't this some shit? Ain't no man ever have a mama that's a virgin. Well, this one did. So how she get pregnant then? God made her pregnant. How you do that? They didn't say. Was her husband there when she got pregnant? No. So how he know God do it? She told him. Wait a minute, man. This lady be a virgin when she married this dude? And then she tell her husband that God made her pregnant? That's what they say. Ain't believe that? Of course. Oh, they finally finished him off well, know, a few really. days later. Cool like this before. Believe me, Mr. Peckham, after you've been here for a while, things just naturally fall into place. But even the students seem so different. Looks can be deceiving. Trust me, with me at your side, absolutely nothing can go wrong. Okay. Mr. Peckham, I forgot to show you something in the office. Okay. Maybe not. Say, nigger, I've been looking for you. Who you call it, nigger? Nigger. I heard you was talking about me when my back was turned, man. Somebody been lying to you. I ain't never said nothing about you. Why don't you just own up to it, man? I heard what you've been saying. Wanda told me. Wanda? Wanda ain't nothing but a spit-licking whore. Wanda's my sister, motherfucker! All clear. I just don't 
understand what we're supposed to do with him. We've got to hide him. He's our last chance. But he's a vegetable. He'll snap out of it. What if he doesn't? He will. I hope. There's a door down here. It's locked. What? Locked. You'll never find that place. Let's try up here. Yeah. Hi, Sam. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Rennick? Mr. Pegg, you're not feeling too well? Yeah, uh, he's okay. Private apartment. No one stays here but me. Sam, you don't help us hide Peckham. They'll close Rebel High and you'll have no little apartment. I work hard and I sweat and I struggle to keep my apartment clean, tidy, and neat. And you just gonna come here, kick me out, and let some vegetables stay. He's not a vegetable. Yes, he is. How long does he have to stay here anyway? Just a little while, Sam. Just a little while. Hey, watch the carpet! I just cleaned it! Take your shoes off! Now, don't forget to feed him. Well, what does he eat? Same as you, cafeteria food. He'll never get dirty. Thanks. That's the diablo, but I can stick up for enough to have a little. He's not going to get dirty, yeah? This is the guy's going to get dirty. Relic here. I want to speak to Peckham. Um, he, he can't come to the phone right now. Uh, he can't come to the phone. He's probably dead. He's busy taking care of the school. He's, he's doing an incredible job. He actually considers Rebel High his, his, his little nest. Uh, I mean his home. Well, good. State inspectors should be impressed. What state inspectors? The one I'm sending to examine Rebel High. And since things are going so well there, I'm sure you'll pass the rigorous inspection and not be thrown into the unemployment lines. Well, I'm sure they'll find everything in perfect condition. We've got absolutely nothing to hide here. Uh, Mr. Wilcox, um, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Uh, I've got a class to attend to. All right, yeah, I will. I'll call you back. Goodbye. One look at Rebel High and the inspector will declare it a disaster area. Yes, sir. And we all get rich. Amy, get everybody together and call a meeting quick. Hi, everybody. Hi, Norman. Hi, Billy. How's the English department? God, you think we were trying to teach them Greek? These kids think that English is a foreign language. To most of them, it is. Yeah. yeah. Will you listen to yourselves for crying out loud? You sound as if you love this place. Well, it does tend to sort of grow on us, doesn't it? So what are we going to do about it? Well, we were just talking about it. What we need is a fearless leader with a brilliant plan. You're absolutely right. Choosing an acting principal is a very important decision. One that requires a lot of thinking, assessing, contemplating, pondering. I got it. We'll draw lots. We don't have any straws. Yes, we do. Some knives over here. We confiscated them from the kids yesterday. Close your eyes, everybody. No peeking. Watch the buttons. Shortest knife gets the job. Agreed? Ready? So what's your plan for saving the school, Norman? I need time to think. Bad start. I need a few good men to form a committee. Good. If you're looking for a few good men, you won't be needing me. Relax, Ida. I mean men in the all-inclusive sense. <laughs> you know, like man and mankind. I thought I found a loophole there. So what are we going to do about these state inspectors? Let's not panic here. Exactly what are the inspectors looking for? We have to prove to them that these kids are actually learning something. We are in real trouble. You're damn right. 
If we fail this inspection, the whole state's gonna find out about it, and everybody connected with this place will be regarded as a bunch of assholes. Everybody connected with this place is an asshole. I know that, but I don't want the whole state to find out about it. Good point. So what are we gonna do about it? We need a plan. Right, we need a plan. And I think I've got one. Controlled substances, marijuana, booze, hard drugs. The kids have got tons of it. If I can even just drive the dope smokers out of here, I'll have the upper hand. What? You're going to drive the dopers out? We won't have anyone left to teach. I'm calling the police in on this. The police? Death precinct. Yes, I'd like to talk to someone about drugs, please. Buy or selling? <laughs> just a little police humor there. Hold on, I'll put you through to Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major here. Norman Relic here. I'm the acting principal of Rebel High. We seem to have a problem here. Drugs. How did you know that? Experience. Let's just say it's the trained, detective mind at work. I'll send you some undercover help. Undercover? You know, who can move around the school, gather evidence. Don't you watch TV? Oh, you mean like on television? That's the idea. Uh, when can you send someone? Tomorrow. This calls for the best man in the department. I'll probably come myself. Everybody but how will class. I recognize you? I'll contact you. Chemistry class started 20 minutes ago. Hey, they never tell us nothing, man. Back to class. Thank you. I hope you're not Sergeant Major. Of course I'm Sergeant Major. But I thought you were going to be wearing a disguise. How do you know I'm not wearing a disguise? Are you? You didn't recognize me, did you? But I've never seen you before. Neither have they. Everybody, back inside. I figure the uh, Johns will be found in the John. The Johns in the John. <laughs> right. And the drugs will be found in the John, too. So that's where we better start looking. I'll infiltrate this place and check out a few of these assholes before they know it's even hit them. Watch me, man. I'm going in. Hey! Don't go in there! That's not... He tried to warn them, but it was too late. He ducked into the girls, John, and they beat the shit out of him. I would have gone in to help him myself, but I'm just the narrator. Now you all know why we're here. Because you called a meeting. To hear a cockamamie plan from Colombo. Now, Sergeant Major's made a tour of the place, and it is his opinion that the major problem facing us is high school violence. <gasps> now, Sergeant Major has some revolutionary new methods for security and crowd control. I'm giving you each a whistle. Good. If anybody pulls a gun on me, I'll call a foul. <laughs> These are police whistles. When you blow one, the rest of us will know you're in trouble and rush to your aid. Are you kidding? When you holler for help, the only people who show up are more muggers. I'm also supplying each of you with your very own can of mace. Mace? Isn't that against the law? Not in cases of police assistance. I now deputize you all as Rebel High Drug Action Squad. There, you're all set. Hold on to your whistles and have your mace handy. We'll all make it through the year if we just hang together. Please, no reference to hanging. Hey, Mama, what's happening? I'm not your mama, and what's happening sure ain't you. Besides, I'm studying. Well, you know, that's cool. We can study together. You study your book, and um, I'll study you. I really don't think so. It must really be hard for you to keep resisting all this animal magnetism I'm throwing your way. But I must admit, though, I do admire your fortitude. Now, why don't you stop playing these little girl games and let me take you for a ride in my brand new canal? Absolutely not. How about my Trans Am, then? I thought you said you had a Camaro. 
Did I tell you that I have the 68 T-Bird, the 429 engine, dual exhaust, four barrels, suicide doors, and a tape deck with James Brown's greatest hits in it? You know, there's something about you that really attracts me to other men. He left me here to die. Now go after him. He's a black student in a yellow shirt and a polka dot pair of pants. You can't miss him. He went that way. All right. chase the dude in there. Oh no, it's Billy. Hey, what are all the whistles for? They stole Jack Pender's purse. Did you see anybody run by here? Yeah, a, a tall dude wearing a red shirt and Levi's. He headed off to the gym. Was he carrying a purse? Yeah, and he was carrying a cane too. But the way he was going, I don't think he had much use for that cane. That's him. I'll hit him off down the second floor. In a locker room with naked men. Not a pretty sight. Speak for yourself, honey. Yeah, it'd be okay if you was in a locker room locked with hundreds of naked women. Well, that's different. Everybody knows that men like. Hey, they're bringing her out. Is she okay? Yeah. You okay, Billy? Yes, I'm fine. I just never seen so many of them. Well, you know, all at one time. She's in shock. Her mind's gone. Don't worry, Billy. I've kept those purse snatchers if it's the last thing I ever do. Woo! It's official! The results of the 10th annual Rebel Iron Relay race. The winner is Mr. Norman Billing. Two minutes and eight seconds. A new high school record. Collect your bets, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you four turkeys in the next Olympics. How, how, how? Principal Peckham. Is he gone? Of course he's gone. I wouldn't be asking that if he wasn't, would I? Now what did you do with him? What did I do with him? Yeah. You think I have all the time in the world to stay here and guard him all day long? You think I have nothing else to do, huh? I have to wash the floors. I have to wash the wash. I have to clean the shit from the fucking bathrooms. This place is a pigsty. I even have to do the cooking. Besides, when I left him, he was half dead. He couldn't have gone far. What are we standing around here? Let's go find him. By God, you're right. This calls for action. You've got to call Sergeant Major in on this one. <laughs> if we don't find Peckham, we don't stand a chance. Yeah, what I think so. I really hope he hurries up. i got a class in ten minutes. I hope he can find him. Said he's got a partner who never fails. you crack the case wide open. Yeah. Oh. Here he is now. Good morning, Sergeant Major. Good morning, Sergeant Major. Good morning. Ready for the hunt? I thought you came with a partner. Prince Thor has a nose that's unequal. Prince Thor? Why don't we quit right now before they fire us? Do you 
have the article of the victim's clothing I requested. Well, he isn't exactly a victim. He's just missing. That's okay. We at headquarters consider anyone who works at Rebel High a victim. Here. This is all we could find. Good. Now my highly trained animal will track down your man using scent. Okay, now we get the scent. And we go. Scent? Get the scent. <laughs> And we go! Your man is in there. But that's the boy's washroom. Prince Thor has never made a mistake. But no teacher in his right mind's ever gone in there before. Peckham wasn't in his right mind. No, man. Why don't you go in there? I'll watch the hallway. Okay, I'll be right back. Don't move. Are you coming, Sergeant Major? Uh... I, I would, I would, but my dog, she's allergic to bathrooms, and, um, I have to watch them. Okay, okay, I get the message, you guys. But if I'm not back in an hour... Don't worry. When the chips are down, we'll come and get you. Excuse me, sir, do you have a membership card? What? I'm sorry, sir, I haven't seen you before. This is a private club. Do you have a membership card, or has someone else invited you? I'm in charge around here. Just exactly what's going on. Do you know we don't allow any smoking around here in this school? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I only work here mornings. Uh, they didn't tell me anything. Would you like a suspension, young man? Now get out of my way. I only work mornings, sir. They didn't tell me anything. What the... Calvin? So this is where you've been hanging out instead of attending classes. Oh, welcome to our club, Mr. Relic. Would you like to join? It's only uh, $75 a semester. And if you sign up now, we'll even give you towel service free. Anybody caught smoking dope will report immediately to my office. Oh, no, we don't allow any dope smoking in here, sir. This is a health club. When we catch somebody with dope, we'll take it and burn it. Yeah, just like I'm doing right now. Maybe we should charge them for the free smoke. Well, I'm immune to that garbage anyway. I could smoke a pound of that and not even bat an eye. What are you grinning at? You never seen an old dope smoker before? I ain't grinning. We don't allow no grinning. Just suck it. Well, nobody grins at the kid, my God. You the kid? That's right. Don't you forget it. <laughs> that was refreshing. <laughs> Mr. Peckham, what are you doing here? Well, hiya, Normie. How you doing? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What a stunt. <laughs> These chicks, they can't take their hands off me. They're only you. Oh, Peggy Baby, you're so cute. <laughs> you said it, Cupcake. And the cutest part of me is underwater. Oh, and you're so naughty. <laughs> I'm giving Peggy a massage. No, no, it's my turn. Girls, girls don't fight. Take numbers. <laughs> I'm such an animal. <laughs> How's it been? 30 minutes. Didn't he say to come in after him in 15 minutes? I don't know, no, no, I think it was uh, 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Just a second. It's our lunch hour. Come on, Prince Thor, let's go split a can of Alpo. What if he needs help? What about your commitment to law and order? All right, fine. But during office hours, all right? See you later. Well, you come right back here after lunch. What's wrong with him? <laughs> He's stuck in phone. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Are you on drug and funds? <laughs> we gotta get Peckham back into the caretaker's office. <laughs> Let's duck and phone. <laughs> oh no. He's a vegetable again. I'll get the chair. <laughs> they already gave you life. 
Don't move. I'll be right back. You ain't going no. It's not in there. It's got to be there. I put it there. Yes? Hold on a minute, please. No, it's Mr. Wilcox again. Wilcox? I'll take it in the office. If you just hold on a minute, he'll be right with you. Peckham, is that you? Uh, no, sir. It's Relic. Let me speak to Peckham. He wants to speak to Peckham. Peckham's gone mad. I know that. You, you talk to him. Disguise your voice or something. Well, hello there, Pilgrim. Hello? Who is this? Uh, it's Relic, sir. Um, Mr. Peckham can't come to the phone right now. Uh, he's uh, indisposed at the moment. Oh, really? There's nothing wrong by any chance, is there? Uh, wrong? No, of course not. Rebel High is totally under control. Good. Then you must be prepared for the state inspection. We sure are. Relic realized they'd never passed the inspection by themselves, so he decided to take his destiny into his own hands. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a private club. Calvin, I gotta talk to you right now. It's an emergency. Oh, Mr. Relic, so nice to see you again, sir. I got a deal for you, Calvin. Kind of a deal. Hey, wait a minute. Now, does that include my gang, too? That includes them. That includes all the gang. Well, hell, then you got a deal. Well, while you're here, why, you know, make yourself at home. Would you like a drink? Uh, I don't drink alcohol. Well, I want to massage something or maybe a glass of milk. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. You want to take care of Mr. Relic here for me, please? Massage him. Mm. It's a nice club. Don't look too bad so far. We built it with all the money we got from PTA bake sales. I'm sorry? All the money we made over PTA bake sales? That's where we got the money from. I didn't get any money from that. Well, I did. That's why we got this nice little thing from, you know. You guys got a pension plan? Cause I ain't never leaving Rebel High, man. Well, now we got this deal, maybe. I ain't gonna ever leave here either. In fact, I think I'll die here. Maybe we got to state prison by mistake. That's good enough for me. Let's close it. No, down. no, this is Rebel High. We've come to inspect it. We came here to inspect this school. Let's do our duty. And then we'll close it down. Hey, the doors are chained. Sure is. Why do they chain the doors? To keep us out. They can't be all that bad if they're trying to keep these guys out. Don't they know it's against the law to keep doors shut? This is great. They're getting grief and they haven't even entered the building. <laughs> Get you in? What are you doing here anyway? We're here to inspect the school. We're state school inspectors. No shit. Hey, open the door. Don't you know it's against the law to chain a door shut? How many times I tell you to quit pounding on my door out here? What the hell's the matter with you guys anyway? You in deep shit, Mr. Schlepper. These are state inspectors come to kick your ass all over town. State inspectors! Welcome to Rebel High. I am Mr. Bean and my assistant, Miss Tick. What is she writing? You'll find out. Mr. Swimper, what are you doing here? Never you mind. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rebel High. Hello, 
Mr. Swift. It's so nice to see you, sir. Calvin, what are you doing here? This young man must be one of the student leaders. Uh, yes, ma'am. Calvin Hampson, that's my name. What is that? It's a good day. Um, as you can see, we've rolled out the red carpet in honor of your arrival. Um, please follow me. Well, this is unexpected. Sure as hell is. Fearless leap. Kelf, what in heaven's name's going on? Shoulder! Oh, uh, Mr. Relic, I'd like you to meet Mr. Bean and Miss Tech, the state inspector. Mr. Bean? Miss Tech? Swiffer, what are you doing here? I've taken up a new challenge. I just joined the state inspection team. <laughs> We've been looking forward to your visit. We're confident you'll find our school in top condition. It didn't look promising from the outside. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover. It's what's on the inside that counts. Yes, yes. But where is Mr. Peckham, your principal? Oh, Mr. Peckham is uh, supervising a test this morning. Uh, He'll join us as soon as the inspection is over. Mr. Relic, I've never seen cadets in here before. That's because we were practicing in the men's job. What would they be practicing in there for? That's the only place you can practice your joint maneuvers. Very well. Shall we proceed then? Uh, to the, uh... Library. Good. The library with its books is the heart of every properly maintained school. Calvin? So follow me, please. The library? Are you insane? There hasn't been a book in there in 20 years. Have faith, Art. Have faith. Relic, what are all these books doing here? Well, shouldn't there be books here? This is a library. Let's browse. Remember the last school we visited had obscene books on the shelf? Yes, yes, let's. Where the hell did all these books come from, Norman? It's magic. Black magic. Yeah. When I left here yesterday, I had four old manual typewriters in this room. And now I got six brand new computers. Don't panic. It's only temporary. Well, this warring silence is keeping me from my reading. Oh, Mr. B, don't you want to see the kind of audio visuals the students are watching? No, no, I've seen enough here, thanks. You have a first-rate facility here. Our teachers place heavy stress on our reading and educational films. to lead them right to the worst areas. Green, what the hell do you think is taking them so long to condemn this dump? Maybe they're dead. <laughs> Give me that. Say, what are y'all doing lingering in the hallways? Ain't you got some classes you're supposed to be at? Get lost, asshole. You're late for your physics class, motherfucker! 
People supposed to be an algebra class? Yeah, let's go. Tomorrow you're gonna love chemistry. Get chemistry! Yeah. Come on, man, let's get out of here. What are these students doing in the classroom? Is there a fire out here? Young lady, what are you doing? Get inside there. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, Mr. Relic, how do you manage to keep your halls so orderly? Uh, Mr. Swimper's had a profound effect on our student honor system here. You see, Mr. Swimper, you do make a difference. Very good, Mr. Swimper, very good. We'll be getting a new batch of this year's bestsellers, Mr. B. That's very good, excellent. Wait a minute, Mr. Bean. Why don't we visit one of the laboratories? That's usually the place hoodlums hang out when they skip classes, huh? Uh, but Mr. Bean, Yes, we... of course, the laboratory. Mm -hmm. You'll excuse me. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. How are we today? Very nice. Very clean. Well, we're very proud of it here. We figured our students deserve a place to wash up in clean surroundings. After all, it is one of the many focal points of our school. Would you like to use our facilities? Yes, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. I almost hate the piss in it. Must be something wrong here. It's nicer than the club I go to back home. Look at all the equipment. Yo, no, man, what's going on here? Where did all this stuff come from? Yesterday I had a few basketballs and a broken down rolling machine, but today I got all this stuff. It's okay, Billy. We'll have it out of here by this afternoon. Everything will be back to normal. Normal? I don't want normal. I like it. Well, this is the first time this gym has looked like a real gym since I've been here. Well, you can't keep it. How's Bean doing with the classes? He's okay. He said he wants to meet us in the cafeteria. Cafeteria? It's nowhere near lunch hour. I can sure use a cup of coffee, though. Yeah. You gotta remember, keep Bean and Swimper separated. Don't worry, I will. Uh, Mr. Swimper, would you like to join us for a coffee? Oh, yeah, coffee would be great. Cafeteria's normal, man. Great, let's go. No, I mean the cafeteria's the way it always is. God, Calvin, what are we gonna do? I don't know, man. We didn't have no deal about the cafeteria. Besides, that's Bruno's territory. What's this about a deal, Norman? Did you make a deal with this guy? I'd make a deal with the devil if it was necessary. And you did. Now I'm gonna save your ass, but you gotta give me ten minutes. Storm 
Maybe you'd like to stop in the... Uh... Well, now, I think we'd all like to visit the cafeteria. Yes. Why on earth shouldn't we be able to? Um, I've just been informed that the food isn't ready yet. Ah, oh, but it's nearly noon. It must be ready. Unless, of course, they're not very punctual in there. Where I come from, punctuality is next to godliness. Yes. Mm. In my dictionary, punctuality is next to puncture. What? What? <laughs> Maybe you'd like to see Rebel High's guidance counselors at work. Oh, I don't think... Yes, yeah, the counseling service. Yes, that's an excellent idea. Shall we? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're one of my students. Of course, Miss Simpson. You've been my counselor ever since I was a freshman. Well, I can't be expected to remember everybody. After all, all you black kids look the same, you know. I'm not black. I'm Chinese. Okay, Sally. So, how long have you been pregnant? Pregnant? That's right. Miss Simpson, I'm not pregnant. I came here to find out about a scholarship. Be silly. 
Really, Sally? They don't give scholarships for getting pregnant. Miss Simpson, did you already have that baby? Miss Simpson, you're not listening. I told you, I'm not pregnant. I never have been. I only want to find out about a scholarship for college next year. Oh, you want a scholarship. Okay. But it's going to be hard going to college with a young baby to look after. Miss Simpson! See, I told you this place is a madhouse! You came back! I never thought you'd come back! You never called! You never wrote! You never came back for your songs! You know this person? Intimately. I've never seen her before in my life! Get off me or we'll my flower! Is that all you can say after all those nights when I waited for your call? I that night in the bathtub with some yogurt. Bathtub? Yogurt? Madam, you must be thinking of someone else. No, there's never been anybody else. I, I'm getting up on my sanity is still intact. I have an erection, an inspection to do. I can't stay here. I'm busy. I'm busy. Don't take me down now. I love you. Crazy. Don't leave me again. My, my, this is a very attractive room. You can say that again. It's very tastefully done. I wonder if the food is as good as the place is. Well, this is our uh, cafeteria. Yeah. Good afternoon. It's so nice to see you people. Come this way. Well, you're just in time for lunch. Thank you. Have a seat right here, ma'am. Are you serious? And you're looking very distinguished today, sir. Hello, I'm Wanda, and I'll be serving you today. We're featuring our special home recipe today, hamburgers and french fries. Mm. And we also have an excellent selection of seafood and fried chicken. Oh, fried chicken. Oh, that sounds good. I'll have chicken. Okay. That's my favorite. I'll have the hamburgers and french fries. Mm -hmm. And for you? Uh, chicken, I guess. Chicken, I guess. And for you, sir? No, I'll take the seafood. Okay, one seafood. Have the chicken. Uh, like I said, chicken. Chicken. All right. Lunch will be served momentarily. Chickens, one hamburger and fries. You got that? Yeah, I got it. I got them on the line right now. Okay, listen to me. What I want is a gigantic McNugget. Can you do that? Get the employee of the month then, all right, okay? Now just get him. Corny wear, Greg! Corny wear does not break! Okay, hi, you the employee of the month? Yeah. Congratulations, I'm really proud of you, okay? Now, uh, yeah, yeah. Now do this order, okay? Now what I want is a gigantic nugget. Yeah, an entire chicken. Can you do that? You got one of the machines that can suck out all the bones at once? You do? Okay, great. Now, dessert of the month, orange tulip. Just scrape it off the walls. Hey, what the hell is the matter with you, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want you to, each fry to be a individually aligned next to the other fry, okay? Yeah, and I want you to individually wrap. Yeah, yeah. I want you to put the ketchup on right now because it's soaking on its way while it's coming down here, okay? Now put it on now. More than that, only her two. Bit more, yeah. yeah. Till it gets to the air. A little part at the end. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Now throw that away, yeah, good. You got any coke? Oh, God damn it, the coke that gives you gas. Right, right, yeah. Okay. You got any Pepsi then? Yep, yeah. Peanut butter to go. Okay, got it. Yeah, okay, thanks a lot. See you later, Miss Face. Something's wrong. I just know it. I wonder how many bodies we'll find when we get in there. Did you order the hamburgers and chicken? What? Crazy things. What's going on? 3812. Take this one. Get out of here. Come on. Let's get out. Get out. Ah, oh, the food's ready.
I can't wait any longer. Excellent chicken. Tastes familiar somehow. This hamburger was as good as any Big Mac I've ever tasted. You know, all of our food is prepared by our students who learn how to cook in our home economics department. Many of them go on to work in some of our better restaurants as chefs. Good job, Mr. Relic. I'm inclined to give Rebel High a good report. Except for those counts. And those chains on the doors. And those chains on the doors. Here, you've got to try some of Rebel High's famous dessert. This is no family recipe. In fact, some of these ingredients have been imported from the Far East. I love cookies. Thank you. I guarantee you'll never forget these ones. Enjoy. It's delicious. Calvin, did you do anything? Mmm, this is delicious. Say, man, like, ain't they got something you want them to sign? What? The thing, man, the thing. Oh. Mr. Bean, you said you were thinking of passing Rebel High in the state inspection, weren't you? What? What inspection? Oh, he certainly I am. Give me the things. I think this is one of the fine. I've ever seen. I'm proud to give it a passing grade. Well, I thank you very much, sir. Well, I'll pass it on these goddamn cookies, too. <laughs> Mr. B. You have to sign this demolition order. We'll get started immediately. Oh, uh, shut up, Wilcox. The only thing I'm going to sign is your deportation order to the Alaska School Board. And take Miss Green with you, too. This is a great school. You wouldn't believe what this character was trying to tell me about this model school. Allow me to present you with this. My lord, they passed the inspection. Oh, no! I now call the following people to the podium to receive their graduation diplomas. Melvin Weitz, Rita May Lecures, Jody Goldman, Juan Tanamera, Honey Duras, Nicker Agua. As you can see, the story does and have a happy uses. ending. Unfortunately, the middle sucks Our duties. Kids today are not like the kids of yesterday. Kids have been the same forever, people say. And they'll be the same a hundred years from now, maybe sooner, they say. In answer to this, I can only say, these people have left their cheesies at home. Bad as it is, there's something about Rebel High that was sort of charming. I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like the smell of your own farts. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Leroy Crenton will lead us in song.
people. Hallelujah. Got a high grade. And it's really great. On this occasion. Leave the high school. Going to law school. Well, I can be really cool. taken another day. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, no. Yeah. How did you manage to pull all this off? Brilliant leadership's all it took, Harv. I just put my vast educational skills to work. And... Nonsense. What was that deal you made with Kelvin? Oh, that. Yeah, Relic. What about our deal, man? Well, I was. Uh, everything's okay? What's the problem? The problem is these are only diplomas. They don't say a damn thing about our grade point average. Yeah, what kind of average are we gonna get anyways? Oh, how about a C? A C? A C is only average. Now look at me and tell me if you see any average looking niggas here. Hey, he's got a good point there. Okay, okay, we'll give you a, a B. A B? Plus. Yeah, that's all right, you know. Well, what are you boys gonna do now, eh? I guess you're gonna hang around the pool room, eh? Pool room? Shit, what pool room, man? I got a B plus average. We're gonna be going to Yale. Who's that? Oh, this is my baby brother Tyrone. I knew y'all be heartbroken over me graduating and everything, so I convinced him to transfer to Rebel High next year. You know, to kind of carry on that old family tradition. Well, hi, Tyrone Hamster. Welcome to Rebel High. Hey, we don't allow any firecrackers in this school. Get rid of it right now. Uh, okay. Flepper took his war helmet off too soon and Relic made a metal note to get one for himself for next oh, year. I should have known. Is the future of our country really in their hands? Will Calvin and his gang actually go to Yale? Or should that be jail? Will Calvin become president? If he makes enough bad movies like this, he will. Till the 21st century, this is the way it will be. Good luck. And goodbye. Bye.